Alright guys, what's going on? Oink here, bringing you a, a game of Battlefield 3 straight out of the, uh, the PC and uh, it's a 64 player conquest game I'm playing with the FAMAS, just unlocked it and I thought in this game, oh I should say if you can hear a, a little mouse speaking in the background uh, just playing with a mate of mine, Iron Man and, uh, and so just ignore him, you know just ignore that <laughs> um, this video I thought I would just sort of give my opinion on the whole battle, yeah not battlefield, the whole sort of PC versus console debate uh, and I guess I'll just relate it to battlefield since this is a battlefield gameplay and that would be topical um, obviously I have it on both systems you know uh, well, I play PS3 for console. Some of you may know, um, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just combine Xbox and PS3 for the sake of this particular commentary because it's just easier to compare consoles in general with PC in general. Just because otherwise, uh, you know, it'll get things will get messy. You know, I'll lose my train of thought. It's not going to be good. So, for uh, the sake of this PC versus console. Thing. I'm just going to assume that Xbox and PS3 are the same, which of course they aren't, but anyway, enough said. <laughs> um, like I said, this one's on PC. I play PC a lot less than I play PS3, on Battlefield that is. Um, I, I think the reason for me personally uh, is I feel a bit more comfortable playing on PC, uh, PS3. Obviously, I've played it a lot more, which is probably the main reason. And the reason I've played it a lot more is because I've got more friends on there that are playing it. I mean, that is the primary reason. You know, I've got a lot more people who are on PS3 who I know, and I can just jump into a game, uh, play with them, um, you know, just form a kind of structure and, you know, get things going. However, on PC, although there are, you know, one or two people who I know who will play it and do play it, uh, because it's, you know, first of all, bigger lobbies and. and Second of all, in just in total, I know less people who play on PC. I can feel a little bit lost in sort of, you know, just feeling like a one individual in a sea of players on the server, which can, I don't know, it's not quite as cosy feeling. So that's kind of why I play on, on PS3 a bit more. Um, I'd like to think that my opinion is as unbiased as possible. I actually started gaming on the PC. On the, yeah, PC. I mean, I had a, a PS1 before I had any PC games, but I mean I started really playing proper games uh, on the PC um, on Steam in uh, you know a long time ago, uh, back when you know first Counter Strike was out, um, playing Call of you know, Counter Strike and Day of Defeat and uh, all sorts of things, all sorts of good stuff like that. Um, and so it's not really a case of you know I've always played console and I've just sort of dabbled, you know I've sort of become a a faux PS, yeah, PC player, you know, I, I, I would like to think of myself as uh, a reasonably experienced PC player and uh, also a console player, so uh, again, I'd like to think that this is as unbiased as possible in my opinion, and again, this is just my opinion um, but yeah, I think with the PC, there is no denying, I don't think anyone could argue that the game looks worse on PC, you know, I don't think anyone would argue that it looks worse on PC uh, even, you know, the, the problem is, right, is with a good computer, you can you can just run this game and it'll be silky smooth and the graphics are just a ton better than the, the, the console versions. That's not to say the console versions don't look nice. I mean, Battlefield looks awesome on the console. But it just does look uh, quite a bit better for the PC and is smoother um, you know, nicer textures, all sorts of that kind of stuff, and again, I don't think anyone can argue with that. The thing that you kind of counterbalance it with is the fact that you have to have a good PC. If you've got, like, uh, just a family computer, nothing too special, nothing with, you know, gaming specs, it can mean you get, you know, suffered performance, can mean that, uh, you know, you, you're dropping in frame rate, um, and, yeah, getting lag spikes and stuff, I don't know depends how good your internet is I guess but that's uh, it applies to both anyway um, yeah so I mean it it's kind of that balance between you've got to have a good computer but if you have a good computer you just get that awesome performance from the game um, 
and that's that kind of trade-off you know this is this is what this whole debate is about there, there is no definitive winner to the whole what is better PC or PS you know PC or console there is no winner you know PC players are often going to say PC is always going to be better and console peers you know, players are going to say that theirs is better and, and I think to be narrow-minded in that sense is not a good position to be in you know I think that those of us who can see the broader picture can sort of think you can see the pros and cons to both and accept the pros and cons to both then you know I think that gives us you know uh, it's a fairer side to take I don't I don't think it's ever a good idea just to be like this is better and uh, that's the end of that because it's not as simple as that you know there's a lot of uh, factors that apply um, ouch laser in the eye what a bitch uh, funny story actually I'll tell you that when it comes to it that was random you'll see what I mean <laughs> um, yeah so I mean I think uh, in terms of the skill level of the players then I should comment on that because this is one of the major talking things about you know who's better PC players or, or PS3 uh, console I keep saying that P PC players or console players and Again, you know, people will say that PC players are better because they're more hardcore or I don't know, what, whatever they would say. And I think it's bullshit, to be honest. I mean, like I said, I've played both for some time and I've played lots of games and I've played the same games on both. And uh, it's just, it's not, it's not true. It's, there's literally no truth in it. I mean, I would like to consider myself as a very strong player on Battlefield um, for... Uh, the console, you know, I'm not saying I'm the best, um, but I would like to think that I'm a decent player, you know, I, I, I hold a very good uh, win ratio, and um, I'm a strong team player, and I usually get, uh, you know, a decent amount of kills with that kind of stuff. If I go to PC, you know, having played Battlefield in particular, um, almost primarily on the, the console, I, yeah, I'm still a good player, you know. My my knowledge of the battlefield, it it's no it's no worse, you know. Obviously, I'm not as used to the bigger maps, um, the more amount of players, but it's just about you know readjusting your style, um, just taking a little bit of time to get used to the you know the sensitivity, the feeling, you know, the movement, um, the gun actions. They just feel all you know just slightly different, um, and I think that you know if you are someone who has got a decent amount of experience on the PC you can go on and you can play and if you're a good battlefield player let's say just uh, for the sake of of making this simple you will be good on both it is as simple as that I mean it people will go on and say you know PC you know PC only players are better than console only players and it's just impossible to compare because they've never played the other one how can you know that they're going to be better you know that you can't compare scores because you you'll see amazing scores on both systems you know there there literally is no way to compare unless you play unless you get someone who has played an exact equal amount on both and then you can just be like okay they do this well on that and this well on the other and that'll be the only way to compare but no one's played an equal amount of both so someone you know will always have a preference to one or the other and so you're never going to get that comparison but I mean, from from all the experience that I've had, you know, I I can honestly say that I don't think that there is any difference. Um, so uh, gameplay is wrapping up anyway. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Just uh, some thoughts I I wanted to share. Some of you may have noticed when I died previously, I wrote in the chat "bh" just for a bit of fun, and uh, apparently the admin wasn't happy with that. Which I was a bit confused about, given this game is a 16. I'm pretty sure most 16-year-olds have heard that word, but I shan't argue. Anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.